Hello everybody and big welcome to a Cultist of the Absolute CDH CSA card review. Finally, it just took him 10 months to get to it. So CSA is a form of a mid-range control toolbox commander where you want to go for the longer game and control your opponents and interact. And this enchantment is making you sacrifice your creatures, destroying your mid-range game and your long game plan. Oh my god, uh, Mons, you're completely missing it. We're not using this for mid-range, we're not going for the long game, we're going turbo, just, we're, we're, we're speeding for it. Command the creatures you own and get plus three plus three. So yeah, that's good to make your CC really big, but you don't really need that. And sacrificing a creature at the beginning of your upkeep... Uh, 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 look, Mons, I get it, I get it. I'm gonna take over from here and talk about this beautiful card. Who are you? Uh, I'm Proxy. Uh, you don't need to know who I am. Okay. Just know that I know what I'm talking about when it comes to Sissé. Alright, so look. I, I get it. You you think this is that Sissé can only really be mid-range, but he, I'm going to show you a turbo application. So, all you're going to need is Wooberg and then one man of any color. Now, you also need a little creature on the field that's not Sissé, but it's it's fine. After we can produce Wooberg, we're going to get this on our opponent's end step. So after we get Wooberg and one man of any color, we get this on our opponent's, we get Cultists of the Absolute on, on our opponent's end step. Then, as we get to our turn, we're going to get the Cultists of the Absolute trigger. In response to that trigger, we have to activate Sisse, unless we have excess mana, but in this case, we have to activate Sisse. Then, we are going to get Dahada, Binder of Wills. Then we can proceed to our main phase, because uh, as we all know, we cannot activate Planeswalkers at instant speed. This is the big reason we needed that one extra mana of any color. Because we are going to minus three our Dahada. We're going to reveal four cards, and we're going to put them all into the bin, getting us four treasures. Then we're going to crack all four treasures, and the one use the one mana left over we had from before, and get Chromatic Orary. This allows us to use mana as of those mana of any color, including colorless. But most importantly, it makes five mana when it taps. So, we can either do this now or wait till we go to combat. But for this, I'm gonna say we're gonna go to combat. And this is the big thing you've been missing, Mons. This is the big, the, the big glory moment. So, our Sisse is now a gigant, a gigantic creature with flying. So we're gonna find whoever doesn't have a flyer and swing at him. Then we're going to get the classic creature before combat, Derevi, Imperial Tactician. We're going to untap our Arari with Derevi, and then we're going to get Najila or Emil, and then use the untap trigger from Derevi to untap uh, the Chromatic Arari again, and either spin to win with Najila, or do whatever you'd like with the Unicorn. And that's how you turbo with Cultists of the Absolute Mons! Wait, so literally with just Cultist of the Absolute inside your deck, you can win once you have 6 mana, a creature, and a CC as a 2-2? Two -two? Just a 2-2, two -two. that's all you need. That's amazing! All right. But what happens if you minus 3 Dahada, and you accidentally mill one of your free combo cards? D -d -d don't look don't don't worry about that look it's it's it'll be fine it's it's just don't be a pessimist it's not gonna happen but isn't there also a risk that you know interactions something happens like there could be a board state where you have cc and cultist in play and nothing else and you have to sacrifice a commander uh, you know ma, ma, just just counter it just you know just have the counter spell in your hand and just make sure it doesn't happen yeah, that's true but what is the point in this i mean we already have so many different ways to win with CC already. Yes, but this one take is so little effort to actually put in your deck. Only dead card really is Cultus and the Orary. And if you just focus on mana and more mana and mana after that, you can just turbo out the win before you have to worry about that mid uh, and late game. So the only three key cards you need to add to your deck, besides Nayella and Darivi, or Kulzit of the Absolute, the Harder Binder of Wills, and Chromatic Oray. In the worst case scenario, you know, uh, Dahada and Orary generate a lot of value. Dahada is making you mana and drawing you cards, essentially. And, you know, th the biggest rock in the game is, is gonna do a lot for you. 
on the field. Wait, I actually start to agree with you. Look at this. Reveal the top four cards of your library. Put any number of legendary cards from among them into your hand. This means that we can fill our entire library with a lot of legendaries and make the Hada like a secondary value engine from the deck with our legendary tribal. No, that's no, that's not the that, Mon, that's not the point, Mons. No. So we tap five, oh, tap maybe. this, draw a card for each color among permanents you control. Like we're trying to play a really heavy color deck. We can use this as like a big mid range card draw engine here. No, no, it's not. You don't use that ability on it, Mons. Uh, uh, I guess, I suppose we could it, grind it out in value a bit with these cards, but. That's only if we've completely missed our opportunity to turbo out the game, Mons. So the big takeaway from this little video showcasing this little two combo here is that you don't really need that much to include this specific combo. And you could tweak your CC deck a lot depending on what you want your CC build to do, depending on the metagame you're playing in. For example, you could try to include more rituals to make the 6 mana you need to make sure you can assemble this combo as fast as you could. But you could also tweak it more towards like a mid-range control deck, just having this as a turbo potential depending on the pod situation. It's also kind of cool how you can kind of Voltron here. Like the Hada is also making CC lifelink instructable, and the cultist is giving you a look, lot of we're power. Done with the, look, we're done with the look. We're done with this, Mons. The video's over. We've talked about the combo. This is it. We don't need to go into anything else. All right, look. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching the video. But this is the combo. This was it. We're done. Thanks for coming. Please leave a like down below.